going on guys so today we're going to go back into some martial arts stuff i know we're doing a lot of reaction videos kind of miss throwing in some karate here and there i think the last one i did was about two three weeks ago going over the hook kick and then i realized it's been all this time saying how much the hook kick and the side kick are very similar and i never went over the side kick so today that's what we're going to do we're going to go over the side kick and a bunch of different combos that we can use with it. So, as I said, the hook kick and the side kick, they both start from the side stance, which is a horse stance. Put your hands and eyes will go this way. And now, you've got two variations to the side kick. You have the snap side kick, which in my system all entails just picking your foot up and throwing it out. But to me, I don't like that one because you got to be hella good with that one in order to do anything with it. you got to be like right up in somebody's business to throw that kick. Or you got the, th the side thrust kick, which for my system entails bringing your back foot up to your first leg and then throwing out that kick. So I, I enjoy that one a lot better because I feel like you get more power behind it. So I'm going to do both of them. Side snap kick. Another combo I like to do with it is front kick into a side kick, which I usually don't try to make contact with the front kick. I usually use that as like a, a setup or a fake. So I'll come in and throw the kick like so. So I'm here. I don't use that one a lot because it, it requires a lot of coordination. And if you're you're in the heat of the moment, a lot of times you gotta think about how you're gonna set it up and a lot of times you don't have time to think. So like I said, it's a good one if you know what you're doing. Like I said, I'm not good enough to pull that one off in competition yet. So another one I like to do is I almost fake out with this one. What I'll do is I'll come in almost like I'm going around house, but I'll chamber and I'll throw the side kick, and then I'll come in and throw a hook kick. So I'll show you that one. And you can also use that one with the first combo that I showed you with the round kick into the side kick then you can re-chamber that side kick throw a hook kick I'll show you that one and along with the variations not only just throw a side kick with combos and everything but you also have different variations of the side kick in itself. You know, in terms of just changing the technique a little bit. You have what I call the jumping side kick, which is just I'll do it right again. Then you have the flying side kick. Same principle, except you get a running start and you basically fly into your home. Now going into the side kick and using some hand techniques with it, 
you're here, you're in your side stance, throw your side kick, back fist. I'll demonstrate that a little faster. One more time. Or, you can even throw a side kick, come in with a reverse punch. I'll demonstrate. Dark out. It's a bit chilly. You can use your side kick to set up a spinning back kick. I do that quite often. Throw my side kick, drop it, and get my spinning back kick. I'll demonstrate. One more time. A lot of times I'll even fake that side kick and just throw into a back kick. Like I'll go. I think that's all I'm going to go over with you guys for now. Like I said, it's a bit chilly out here. Not really feeling the greatest right now. And it is getting dark outside. So, if you like this video, please like, share, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. If you want to follow me on any of my social medias, link will be in the description down below. So, keep like, sharing, comment, subscribing, all that fun stuff. Word.